Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Exchange and Mission. Childhood plays a prominent role in the development of individuals. It is a period of innocence, enjoyment, and exploration of the real world. Learning certain habits and specific skills determines our characters and shape our future. It is my immense pleasure to host Asma, Suhila, and Sufyan, three university students, to discuss the topic of child development. Hello, guys. Hello, Hello Bahja. We're so glad to take part in this emission. The topic is epic, and we have many things to share. Thanks for the request. Asma, who do you think can be the best builder of child personality? Obviously, the first teachers we have in our lives in most cases are our parents. They teach us to walk, to speak, and to have good manners before we reach the real world. Parents have the mysterious power to sacrifice themselves for the betterment of their children. They pass their knowledge to us with great love, patience, and desire to see fruitful results. And of course, implicit learning occurs when children unconsciously copy some of their parents' habits and styles of behavior. But don't you see that not all parents can be good examples? I absolutely do. Recent statistics have proved that young criminals generally come from extreme environments, where unfortunately parents shout and fight all the time. It is not to underestimate the role of parents, but just to mention the fact that they are our first teachers, but may not be the best. Excuse me, Asma, but I believe that in adolescence everything will change. How can parents still handle the situation? It is no doubt that guiding a growing child is complicated. During the years of adolescence, adolescents are generally rebellious and may automatically reject any advice from their parents. Parents should practice a form of communication, set up household rules with understood consequences, and encourage their children to be open to the world. Thank you, Asma. I think Sufyan has a different thing to mention. Go ahead, Sufyan. I believe that parents provide one point of view of the world, while good teaching should be based on different attitudes. Many kids see going to school as a curse. They attend classes only because their parents force them. They won't know the great importance of school until they become older or excluded from it. Education is a tool to prepare children to be the future caretakers of this planet when their parents are dead and gone. From communicating and empathizing with friends and teachers of both genders and different ages, to listening to instructions and following orders, to being on time and respecting the other's opinions. And finally, being developed both academically and personally into mature individuals, ready to face what is bigger than home and school, which is society. Thank you so much, Sufyan. Let me hear your opinion towards the topic, Suhila. Sufyan, you mentioned the fact that school prepares the child to face a greater encyclopedia that is society. From friendship to after-school activities and personal experience. Firstly, having good friends and community is linked to better health practices, less stress and depression of the child. Studies show that lack of social interaction resulted in high death rates in babies. The risk factor of being socially isolated cut across all age groups. Secondly, doing community service activities provides children with opportunities to become active individuals in the society. It enables children to acquire skills and knowledge on how to help and work with the others. You're right. Sometimes we look at a child as a very tiny element, but in fact, it is through these activities children can wisely enjoy life. Life is a continuous chain of experiences. These experiences are both good and bad, but both help child to live a more educated and productive life, without forgetting that experience is the key of success. Good point, Suhila. My father used to say, learn how to fight your own battles because I will not be always able to protect you. Awesome! Thank you so much, guys, for coming up with these bright ideas. I do agree with each one of you because these are the real aspects that build our children's personalities. Dear listeners, I hope you enjoyed today's emission. It was Behja, 
Asma, Suhila, and Sufyan. From AYG Desha, see you next time with another inspiring topic. Salam!